tripping. Oh, some days I feel like I am gifted. Some days I feel like am I really different. What is good, YouTube man? It's your boy VJ from Guard, and I'm back here with another video for y'all, man. So today, man, we're gonna get into a different build for y'all, man. It's the um the best point guard build for Pawn Five Five in terms of five out and and pick and roll doing both. So we are gonna start with the finishing. We got a 78 close shot, 78 driving layup, 93 driving dunk, 40 standing dunk, and 38 post control. Now I am a starter three, so my stand my driving dunk will be a 90 is a 96. In this video is what you're seeing because I put three cat breakers on my driving up to get legend posterizing and whatnot. But yeah, 78 driving layup works really well in terms of in terms of just like finishing through contact. And I can do standing ducks as well. I get the standing duck animation for the small guards on this build. And I'm really enjoying this build, man. It can move, it can dunk. I love the finishing, man. I get contact dunks all the time. It makes people respect my drive so they have to give me space to shoot. And having a high driving duck 96 and up is just a huge plus on this game for guards who like to run five out and like to get, to get on that rim if you know what i'm saying now we're gonna get into the shooting uh we got a 93 midi for that hall of fame set specialist 83 three-pointer and 88 free throw so the 93 midi gives you uh of course gold gold shooting badges outside of many marksmen in a uh, limitless range and it gives you hall of fame set specialist the 83 three ball give us bronze limitless range and our mini marksmen it's still silver but it works pretty well you know what i mean so that's a good badge as well and yeah the 88 free throw i'm really consistent with it you know what i'm saying i'm looking at me i'm shooting really good with the um 83 three ball i'm not really struggling at all with the 83 three ball i, I love the 93 midi because i can do phase in the midi real confidently and you know shoot midis with, with no pressure like look at that you know what i'm saying but I feel like it's like 2K24 where the where the mid range affect the three ball a lot more than the the, the badges affect the shot. I mean they're shooting more than the, the ratings do. But we're gonna see when uh, further tests come out from other, from other excuse me. We're gonna see what uh tests come out from other from 2K labs and 2K twos to see whether how much the rating actually affects the shooting other than the badges. But yeah, this is the shooting on the, uh, on this build, man. It's it's pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. I've been shooting really good last night. I shot like 80% like four rec games. So that's really good. You know what I'm saying I'm in the park with it. You know, I'm cooking. It's cleaning up everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love the shooting on this build. This shooting is great. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the shooting, man. Let's get into the playmaking. We got 93 ball handle, 91 speed with ball, and 85 pass accuracy. Now my ball, my ball handle is a 95. So I do, so I did uh, put two cap breakers on it. But man, 92 or 93 is good as well. And I just love it. Look at me, just working them. No, no bull, just working them <laughs> on the in the uh, park, man. I've been loving, I've been loving dribbling and moving around on this build a whole bunch. And yeah, the pass accuracy is there because of course you're playing prime five v five. You need that high pass accuracy if you want to be efficient in a five out setting, especially in making the right reads on the court. And you want to have that. You want to have bailout too, man. Bailout is huge in this game because sometimes you shoot a shot. Sometimes you shoot a shot that you didn't mean to shoot. You gotta put it, you gotta pass out of it, man. And I've been saving me in plenty of park games. But uh, that's it for the ball handling and uh, pass accuracy and screw a ball. SWB is 91, so I can get uh, Hall of Fame Lightning Launch and put it to a legend. So I got Legend Lightning Launch on this build as well. But let's get into the defense, man. Let's get into the defense. Before we do anything, let's get into the defense real quick. Excuse my baby. <laughs> Uh, we got 54 interior, 60 perimeter, 73 steel, and 61 block. Now, this is a prime build, man, mainly. So, I'm guarding corner in the prime, so I do, do need, I got what I need to be able to uh, guard corner. I got some interior, some block, and some steel. And I have 60 perimeter, D, so I will be able to get a contest if I'm in the right position. It's not the best defense, of course. It's not like, oh, you're going to be guarding the best player, or you're going to be, um, you know, freaking freaking playing lockdown and then like that no you're gonna be in a corner locking up they lock they they lock now and doing what you gotta do man look at that quick stop that was beautiful i'm doing what you gotta do man and just getting to work no cap but that's what it for the defense man i mean i'm not gonna lie to you i get blocks on this build i can get blocks i can get chase downs i just don't have a high block i get a lot of lanes too you probably saw it earlier in the, earlier in the video how many lanes i was getting and stuff like that man but uh yeah, man, it's a fun. It's really fun to play defense on this build. You can really get good stops on the corner. 
and it challenges you to be a better defender especially if you play prime like okay you have to lock in on your corner and trust your teammate and that's what it's about man if you want to win leagues and win win games and rank mode you have to trust your teammates at the top with your power field, back in your locks to get it done and not move too much <laughs> slammed on them. crazy though but uh yeah that's what mainly what it is for the defense man i'm not gonna lie that's all i really got to say about the defense other than but sometimes uh you will get laid up on it's ha- it happens on 2k like i have a bill with a 71 interior i still get laid up on that's just what's happening on this game man layups are are hard to stop especially when people have high physical finisher but you can put yourself in a position to stop that though and that's what i be trying to do not jump on time and all that now let's get into our block let's get i mean to our rebounding this is nothing special i'm letting y'all know this now i believe i have a um 44 rebound is about to pop up. I believe I have a 44 rebound and a 30 offensive rebound. I didn't touch it at all. It's just that it moved with the other with the things it connected to. So I had to put it there. 44 rebound. I mean, I can I can run past the rebound and grab it real quick. That's a, it helps me do that. And with the vertical, I can sometimes grab a a, a a rebound over another guard and stuff like that. So it helps without with that. But. I'm not a rebounder, man. I'm a PG for the pro am and PG for a, a squ- squad lineup in three. You know what I'm saying? Oh, goodness. Shook him in uh, starting five. But now we're getting into the physicals. We got the 88, 86 speed, 80, 76 agility, 84 strength. That's which is make this build so much different from the other one, man. Got a uh, Hall of Fame strong handle and 85 vertical. So you can get all those dunk animations with the 96 dunk, man. I've been loving the physicals on this build. I've been pushing people off of me. And I've been just dunking on them and running past them and running down the court fast and just being doing what I got to do on the court, man. Really been enjoying it. I'm not going to lie to you. Physicals, mainly my move by the ball handle and all that, but the 84 strength is what make this build different. That's why I put my dunk to a 93 so I can put that extra stuff on strength and have that uh, legend. I mean, not legend. Oh, my goodness. Um, Hall of Fame strong handle, man. That really helps when the finish trying to bump you or a smaller dude on you. You can run bulldozer them over. It's kind of cool to see and it's kind of let them know, like, dang, this is a strong guard. Oh, jump. Got him. But, man, without further ado, man, that's the end of the video for me, for, for me y'all. The build will be called a mid range slasher again. It's basically just a tweak of my other Derrick Rose build. But, but this is more equipped for Pro Am. And if you hit start at three, you get the cap records like i do so you can save attributes and you know attributes way differently you can save points on it if you get what i'm saying and yeah that's pretty much it for this video please leave a like comment and subscribe i should have said that in the beginning but please leave a like comment and subscribe and uh turn on notification if you enjoy the content i'm putting out this year man other than that man bg from god was out i hope all of y'all have a good day and just let's just keep grinding man more builds to come in, especially for Park. I know you Park heads want some cool creative builds. I'm just getting this pro am bit out the way because I will be playing pro am tournaments and 3v3 tournaments. And I want if people want to ask what build I am when I'm winning a tournament, build videos are right here, man. Without further ado, I'm Guardian Blues out. I hope to see y'all next. Some days I feel like I am gifted. Some days I feel like I am I really different.